In the previous video, I solved a very similar looking equation to this one. It was 2 sine squared equals 3 cos x. Now we have 2 sine squared equals 3 cos squared x. Now, what I want to stop you from doing is jumping to the conclusion that, right, a good idea here would be to replace sine squared with 1 minus cos squared, like we did in the previous video. Um, I'm not going to do it that way, because what I can see is that I've got a sine squared and a cos squared, and that if I get sine squared over cos squared, then I'm going to have tan squared. So, I'm not putting you off from other ways of doing it, but I'm just showing that you can spot other ways that do not in specifically involve using the trig identity. Um, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. So, if we divide both sides by cos squared, we get 2 sine squared x over cos squared equals 3. Divide both sides by the 2. Well, okay, first of all, notice that sine squared over cos squared is tan squared. So that's 2 tan squared x equals 3. Then divide both sides by 2. And then, in solving tan squared equals 3 halves, we're going to have to square root both sides. But remember that that's going to throw up a plus minus. So we're looking at tan x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 halves. So we actually have two separate equations here to solve. So first of all, let's look at tan x equals positive root 3 over 2. Let's draw tan. Okay, here's tan between 0 and 2 pi. Now root 3 over 2 is going to give me two possible solutions. Square root of 3 over 2. So, first of all, inverse tan root 3 over 2. Oh, careful. So used to saying root 3 over 2. So, in radians, root 3 over 2 is 0 0.886 to three decimal places. So, that is that solution there. Now, in order to get the second solution, I'm going to add the period of tan, which is just pi. So add pi to that. So add pi. And that's going to give me 4.028 to three decimal places. So that's 4.028. Right. So that's given me the two solutions from that equation. Now we also have to deal with tan x equals minus root 3 over 2. So tan x equals minus root 3 over 2 is down here. So we're expecting two solutions there and there. So first one's coming from inverse tan of minus root 3 over 2. So inverse tan of minus root 3 over 2. Now that's minus 0 0.886. So that's given me the solution that's to the left of the y-axis. So I'm going to add pi to that to make sure I'm getting this solution here. So I'm adding pi to get me that solution. So add pi and that gets me 2.25 so let's add 2.256 to three decimal places. And then the second solution, uh, this one, so that's 2.256 there. The second solution is by adding pi to that one. 
So pi plus 2.255, da 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 da, using the full calculator display, which is 5.397 to three decimal places. So we have four solutions. The four solutions are 0.886, we've got 2.256, we've got 4.028, and 5.397 to three decimal places. Okay? And those are the four solutions. So you could have solved that in a slightly different way using. Uh, the trig identity sine squared plus cos squared is 1, but you could also go straight in using tan and doing it that way instead.